For 4,500 years, the Great Pyramid has been hiding a secret in plain sight. Scientists just discovered how 2.3 million stones, each weighing as much as a car, were moved without wheels, without pulleys, and without modern technology. And the answer? It's been under our feet the entire time. The Great Pyramid of Giza, 481 feet tall, built around 2560 BC. For centuries, we've had wild theories, aliens, slaves, lost technology. But here's what makes this really mysterious. These stones came from quarries 500 miles away. Each block weighs 2.5 tons on average. And some granite blocks, over 80 tons. That's heavier than a Boeing 737. So how did ancient Egyptians, without the wheel, move millions of these? In 2017, archaeologist Mark Lehner made a game-changing discovery near the pyramids, an ancient ceremonial boat. But it wasn't the boat that mattered. It was where they found it, evidence of a massive lost waterway. Then in 2022, a team scanning beneath the desert with ground-penetrating radar found it a buried branch of the Nile River that ran right next to the pyramids. It's been dry for thousands of years, but during the Old Kingdom, this was a superhighway. Suddenly, everything clicked. The Egyptians didn't drag stones across the desert. They floated them. Here's the actual method, confirmed by archaeological evidence. First, workers quarried limestone blocks during the Nile's flood season when water levels were highest. They dig channels from the river directly to the quarries. Next, they loaded stones onto wooden boats and barges. The flooding Nile made this possible. What would be desert became navigable waterways. They floated the stones right to the construction site. Recent excavations found ancient harbors and boat remains at the pyramid base. For the final lift up the pyramid, ramps. Not alien technology, just ingenious engineering. Scientists found remnants of spiral ramps that wound around the pyramid as it grew. But there's one more brilliant detail. In 2014, physicists discovered something incredible. The Egyptians wetted the sand in front of their sledges. Dry sand creates friction, but damp sand, it forms a more solid surface. This simple trick reduced the pulling force needed by half. A wall painting in the tomb of Jehutihotep literally shows a worker pouring water in front of a sledge. They were showing us the whole time. And here's what really rewrites history. 